Hello, father. My dearest child. I wish it were not so, but I know you are dead. You know that I am gone, and all your prayers and wishes will not bring me back. Pop, I know you miss me, but my death and my life no longer have a hold on you. This is how it should be. Set your eyes on the horizon. Do not look back, and do not falter. You have such a long road ahead of you, and you must be prepared. And so I leave this in your hands. I know you will do great things with it. I hope our inventory is not full, but this is probably wishful thinking. Let's see, it's probably a sword of sorts. Uh, I'm just going to go through all my stuff. I almost said all my shit, but it probably isn't. Face, I don't know what she, what he gave me. Spellweaver? No. No, no. I don't know what he gave me. It was probably that two-handed axe or something like that. Reflections? That's probably it. Ooh. Heck yeah. Absolutely, I'm going to use that. Because, yeah, that's, that's what it is it's for me. Because it's restricted to my character. That is an amazing amulet. Wow. It's fantastic, too, for a tank as well, because it increases healing effects received, which is usually... Um, this is stuff I see if you're a tank in certain games, but that's because I play a lot of World of Warcraft, and there's a lot of, like, buffs to healing received when you're a tank in certain games. So, that's cool. Uh, the game's kind of weird for me, where it's trying to, like, uh, facilitate a emotional relationship with, like, oh, it's your father, but it isn't, right? Okay, okay, I should have... That's us. Guess what? Waking nightmare buddies. Okay, let's go get the healers. Or the, yeah. Let's try and get everyone to stack up near us. Uh, I'm gonna try and taunt that one over there if I can. And then when they're all on me... Okay, let's grab Morgan because that one doesn't really want to do anything. So I'm gonna go in with Alistair first and then I'm gonna do a cleanse area. So let's do a cleanse area. Like that. And then I'm going to do a Waking Nightmare on everyone while they're still stacked up right here. Like that. And then I'm going to turn on Frost Weapons again because all of that stuff got turned off while her stuff has a lot of um, cooldowns on it. Let's see. Aiden and Morgan. Morgan's probably the most dangerous because of all, all of her magical abilities. So I'm going to use my Morgan to put a Vulnerability Hex on their Morgan and put her in a Crushing Prison. Oh, she resisted it. Well, that's unpleasant. So let's go in there and do a Mind Blast. I'm going to grab Win and I'm going to put a heal. Oh, she's about to heal someone, so I'm going to let her do that because she's healing me, which is what I wanted to do in the first place. Let's put a Life Ward on me as well. I need to get this uh, Resurrection out of the way so I don't click it accidentally. There we go. Actually, when I was watching the Cologrim fight, I realized that I actually resed one of the... resurrected one of their... Um, <laughs> one of the enemies while I resed up Morgan at the same time. I don't think I want to... There's nothing else that I really think I want to do. Let's see if we can put Morgan in a trap or something. Okay, so she can be triggered. So let's grab Morgan and put uh, Win in the force field so that she doesn't heal up the other characters, like so. Looks like my, my character is taking a lot of damage, so I'm going to go back to Win. I'm going to tell her to mana potion, and I'm going to give my guy a regeneration. I'm going to activate her mage armor as well because of cleanse area. Got it removed that stuff. Oh, well, actually, that is Win, isn't it? And oh, that's Morgan. Then why did she use a heroic... Maybe their their characters have abilities that we don't. That seems like that's what uh, that's what's going on. I need to check if my regeneration is still on. Yeah, it is. Because I was going to cast another one, but uh, that's not very optimal. Let's put a bonus to damage on Morgan so that she can do a lot of spell casting and stuff. Let's put another vulnerability hex on their Morgan and put a normal thing on... Their win. I'm gonna try and kill their win first because why not? Okay, so their win's gone. It looks like Morgan's only one left. Now, uh, do we have an interrupt for this? Yeah, we probably do. Let's try and do a shield bash. Let's do, let's do that. And of course, she resists the knockdown. Yeah, the resistance to uh, the resistance to CC and knockdowns. Even though we were able to put them in a force field and a stasis field as well, so that worked. And uh, now I need to go back to win and turn on her cleansing aura because. I cleansed it off and it has quite long cooldown, so I wasn't able to activate it again during that entire fight, but it didn't really matter. Alright, let's keep going. Uh-oh. I'm terrible at puzzles. Well, looks like there's only one way forward. Another obstacle. Tis almost beyond endurance. 
Okay. So there was a message there saying that she loved her disciples, but I didn't read the entire thing because my characters were talking, so I missed something. Oh, okay, so, you, so this is a puzzle to turn on. Okay, so we need to tell all of our characters to stand on certain things. Okay. Uh, so I probably need to write all of this down just to check. Maybe there's one that activates one only. So this one activates one only. This one is two. That one's two. That one's one. That one's two. And that one is one. Isn't that the same one as... Okay, I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to tell people to hold position. Um, yeah, I don't really need to do anything else. So I'm going to tell when because she's the closest. Let's check out. That's also one. That's one. That's one. That's one. And that's also one. This seems rather simple, so let's see. This one activates one. Okay, let's grab Morgan. Let's see. That's for both of them. And uh, let's go with one, see if... That's it, that's an actual bridge right there. If we can get all the bridge pieces to be solid, we could make it across. Oh! Okay, so these are all ghostly bridges. I thought that would make it, but no, you have to do the double ones. Okay, so let's get these people off of those buttons. If I can select them. Speak okay. them. I need to recheck which ones are the doubles. So that's a double, okay. Let's get Morgan. I don't know what that does. That's not doing anything. Okay, so that's a double. Let's try and find those doubles on the other side as well. So that's one. That's one. One. Oh, maybe you have to get one person across while we're getting everyone else to... Ooh, that's tricky. That is tricky, isn't it? Okay. But if they fall into the void, they die. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and press all the buttons and write them down so I can figure out which ones do what. All right, so I'm gonna get my notebook out. I like doing this kind of stuff. You don't really see that in that many games where you have to write things down. That's actually, that's actually a, a game I'd like to play eventually is uh, Fez, which is all puzzles. But I'm not really sure how I would uh, show that. All right, so let's just uh, do it like this. Mm, that's not working as I thought it would. Where, so, I'll show you again. Um, I'm gonna walk off of those platforms. So here's here's the funny thing that I noticed. So this is the second button on this side. When I step on it, it activates one and two, platform one and two. So if I step off of it, there we go. Now I'm gonna show you with Morgan. If I step on the button on the four, it activates two and three. Now, sometimes when you activate the same one, so let's say I activate a button on that other side, and it activates a platform. Oh, maybe it corresponds. Okay, so I just thought of something. See, I thought it worked like this. I thought it worked like, let's say I put Aiden on this button. His is one and two and Morgan's is two and three. So I thought the number two platform would be solid because two, their two button inter, uh, in overlap where number two platform is. But maybe it only works where each side has to do it. So for example, it doesn't work because both sides are using number two, where on the other side, it should be number two activated. And I noticed that on this side, we can activate double platforms at one time, but on that side, you can only activate a single platform at a time. So I think we're gonna have to need two people on this side and then one person on that side. So I need to figure out which ones to activate first. So let's grab Morgan, go on button number two because it activates one and two. And then let's go back to this other side and we need to activate number one and two. So that would be number three, button number three. Okay, that's what I thought. It only works if you do it on opposite sides. And let's grab win and activate button number two, which is the button six. Okay. okay. At your service. And now we can take Alistair and walk across. So we need to save. So now that he's on platform number two, we can turn off platform number one. So that's me. Right? Yes. So we can turn that off. And now we need to turn on platform number three. 
which is button number one. Okay, so that's activated at this one. But now we need to turn it on, turn on platform number three on the other side, which is Morgan. And I need to be really careful because if I turn off platform number two, he's gonna fall and probably die. So the button that activates platform two and actually if I step off now, it just turns off everything, doesn't it? Ooh, this is dangerous. Um, okay, so I'm gonna grab Win, and I'm gonna go to the others. Okay, so we need to try that again. Which one was it? Okay, so we have to do that all over again. Hmm. Okay, so he doesn't die, he just gets teleported back at the start. Now, I kind of came to a conundrum there where... Hold on, I need to grab... Step off of those. I need to check my buttons again. So now I need to go over here and activate a button that gives him number two. So I did the same thing as I did before, where uh, I put my people in the right directions. So now I need to activate number two because I need to get Morgan to step off and she's on a number two. So if I, she steps off, it teleports Alistair back to the start. And right. So I need to do it on this side because on the other side there is only one button that is number two. So I'm looking for one that activates number two and three. So number four, this one. So now I can, I need to activate number three. What shall we do? Right now Win is on number two and I'm on number two. If I turn those off, he gets, to, he gets teleported back. So we need to keep number twos active and we need to activate number three. And the only one right now that we can do that on is Morgan. She's on the number two as well. So we're three people on number two, so we can take off one. So we're going to take off Morgan because she's on the button that activates number one and number two. So we don't need number one anymore and we have enough number twos. So let's tap off. There we go. Now we need to find one that activates uh, number three. Right. There's only one button that does that on the other side and we need to activate it on the other side. And that one is number one. There we go. So now we can grab Alistair and walk him forward again. Okay. So now we need to activate number three and four at the same time. So uh, neither Aiden or Morgan can step off. Only Mwyn can step off. So she's going to step off. There we go. So now I'm going to go to the other side with Win and activate a number three and a number four. And the only one that does that is number five. So here we go. Okay. Now with Aiden, I can go to the other side and activate number four. And the one that does that, there's a lot that do that. That's <laughs> okay. So here we go. Right. Yes. Good. And uh, well, there's three buttons on this side that activate the last platform. And then we can get him to walk across. Thank you. Andras, they only favored the clever, it seems. Ta-da! That's cool. Yeah, I, I, I'll show you a graphic. I wrote down what all the buttons do. And uh, this is the sequence to do it in, if you're interested. All right. Well, let's grab everyone and tell them to come now. And let's move on. That was fun. I'm glad they put something like that in this game, because I got kind of tired of fighting all the time. All right. Let's continue. The altar. Altar. Altar? It's... It's the urn of sacred ashes. That's it. That's really it. I... I thought it was a legend. I didn't believe. Powerful magic indeed. Alright, there's a line of fire. If we walk through it, we probably die. Unfortunate adventure, like that guy over there. So, let's save and activate it. This altar is little more than a dusty stone slab. You can make out an inscription carved onto its face. Continue. Cast off the trappings of worldly life and cloak yourself in the goodness of spirit. King and, s King and slave, lord and beggar, be born anew in the maker's sight. Remove equipment. All right. Time to get it on. Get it on through the fire. I'm still covered in blood, which is really funny. <laughs> I wonder if I should 
<laughs> um, make the thumbnail for this episode. Everyone naked. That'd be funny. All right, let's walk through the fire. Oh. You have been through the trials of the gauntlet. You have walked the path of Andraste. And like her, you have been cleansed. You have proven yourself worthy, Pilgrim. Approach the sacred ashes. He's not green anymore. Maybe that was just the light. Come on, you guys. What did we receive? Oh, all of our items again, probably? Yeah. Oh, jeez. I... yeah, whatever. Oh, we can start by newest. That's nice. She's healing all of us back up because, you know, we don't have our stuff activated. Hey, buddy, let's... Whoa! Okay, he's telling us to go to the urn. I have the music turned off because I was getting flagged on YouTube for copyright. So it makes this moment a little bit less impactful I with didn't that think music. Anyone could succeed in finding Andraste's final resting place. But here's, here she is. I stand in awe. Really. I could not have asked for a greater honor than to be here. I will never forget this feeling. These are earthly remains of Andraste, prophet and bride of the Maker. Oh, so she's the... She's the wife of the Maker? That's okay, sure, whatever. Let's just take what we need and get out. Take pinches of the ashes. Take a pinch of the ashes. You take a pinch of the ashes and place it in a leather pouch. Leave the urn alone. Ceremonialist we received. Probably the urn. Or... No, well, never mind. It's probably in the quests here or something. Yeah. A pinch of sacred ashes. All right. Excellent. Sort by type is usually the default. There we go. And uh, do we have enough room to loot this adventure? Yes, we do. Let's see. Ooh. Restricted mage. That seems pretty good. And golden pendant. Golden demon pendant. A mold, molded pendant that looks eerily like the head of a demon hangs off this thick golden chain. I believe that might be for Morgan, so let's grab these two things. Uh, give the belt to one of our mages, because I don't know what their belts are like right now. Willpower and mental resistance, that seems alright. And willpower and magic spell power. So let's give this one to Morgan, okay? Yeah, I was right. Uh, Morgan wants the pendant, so I'm gonna give her the pendant if I can find it. Pendant, pendant, there it is. Here you go. A fine gift. You're welcome. And grab this mace. Okay. Oh, there's another. Oh, jeez, there's a chest. Um, right. <laughs> I do remember when I was doing this on the consoles, I brought Liliana here with me. Emerald ring, which doesn't do anything. And a nature salve. Uh, what can I get rid of? And uh, bringing Liliana with me, I think she said she probably says something very unique because of Andraste. Like she's, she's in, oh, it's the god. Oh. Maybe we can put, yeah, equip our, er, what? Oh shit, that replaces our weapons. That is not what I wanted to do. Now I have to remember what the heck I had equipped. Styrium's might and a shield as well. There it is. Maybe if we switch and give ourselves some arrows. Yeah, that's how we do it. Haha. -ha. Switch and give him some arrows. Just so we can loot this chest. Oh, I closed it again. There we go. I know I'm being very, um, <laughs> very picky. I want all the loot. Oh, another chest. Great. Can we just take those? Aha, we can, yes, because we had stuff, so now it just stacks. Alright, it's time to leave. Wait, is that... yeah, secret mountaintop? What about this one? Secret mountain path, okay. 
They both, I, I'm guessing they both lead to the same place. That'd be dumb if they didn't. So let's leave. All right. And that puts us back out there, and then we go through the Ruined Temple, and probably out of everywhere. I doubt there's going to be any more combat, it feels like we're done here, so I'll probably fast forward to uh, to where we are. But yes, I was very thoroughly enjoyable, I really like that, I liked the little puzzles and the gauntlet. That was probably one of my favorite things I've done in a long time in this game, because I got really kind of tired of the fighting. So, so we went you know that I'm a Templar, right? I believe what I heard was that you were not, in fact, a Templar. You were trained as one before you became a Grey Warden. That's right, but I still have all the abilities of one, of course. That doesn't make you nervous. Should it? I am no apostate. Perhaps you should be directing this question at Morrigan. She claims not to be afraid of me, or anything, really. But you've had more experience with the Templars than her. I know how mages can sometimes... The Templars serve a function, and a necessary one. If what has happened at the Tower proves anything, it is that we mages can be dangerous, even to ourselves. That's one way of looking at it. And regardless, you seem like a decent enough young man. If you decide to slaughter me out of hand, I'm sure you would at least inform me first, no? Oh, sure. Count on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have something to tell you. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> that seems funny enough to me. Oh, there Welcome you are. Back. You were gone for quite some time. Well, did you find it? A whole lot of things. Oh, did I find something? Did I find the urn? Yes, I found it. What... what was it like, coming to the urn, I mean? Uh... I like one and three. It wasn't that grueling. I really enjoyed it. It was fun. More fun than grueling. It's probably one of my favorite parts of the game, the whole trials and stuff. So I'm gonna go with, uh, nothing has touched me quite so deeply. Just to, you know, we had a good time, so yes. You are a very fortunate person. And so am I. Perhaps my research will not seem so much like blasphemy to the Chantry now. We must organize an expedition. There is so much history here, it must be studied. And, and pilgrims should be allowed to come to the Urn. I uh, sort of disagree to that. Uh, since people might... I mean, I feel like it's, it is a holy symbol and you require it to be of good faith and standing with yourself and a decent person to be able to even encounter the Urn, uh, right? Go through those tests, that sort of stuff. Yes, that is not wise. Many will try to exploit this discovery. But the urn belongs to all the faithful. How can you deny this to them? No, we must share it. You have no <laughs> intentions, Brother Genitivi. But can you say the same of your brethren in the Chantry? So everyone comes by and takes some ashes from the urn. Oh, I hope that urn is self-replenishing. Yes, share it. Spread the word and more will come under the Chantry's power. Is this not what you want? I will spread this good news or die trying. You can go ahead and do that. I don't want to kill him. I'm not that kind of person. Uh, I don't want to blame him. But I don't like any of these options. But no, I'm going to go with number one. If something comes bad of this, it is your fault. Know this. Your actions are your own, and you will have to deal with the consequences. I must return home. I have much to do. If you ever find yourself in Denerim, please visit me. I am not a rich man, but I have a small collection of interesting artifacts, and I do owe you a reward for coming to my rescue. I hope to see you soon, my friend. Yes, uh, I'll try and remember that next time we're in dinner room. But I probably will forget, I don't know how long it's going to take to get back there. And I was like, are you telling me we have to go across the entire, uh, the entire world to get back to you for a reward? That seems rather annoying. Yes, let's venture forth, and please let's go to camp finally, oh jeez. Please, please go to camp. 